it's your friendly nosy neighbor jessica carden i'm waving right here and i'm solo today poor jeremy is sick with a cold and we are out here on a beautiful snowy day in idaho i'm sorry texas you probably did not appreciate seeing this on video but it's the way we that's the it's the life we live in idaho and we are thank you for joining us today by the way if you love local businesses like we love local businesses please like and follow the nosy neighbors facebook page i feel like i'm crooked oh there we go hey please like and follow our page and please frequent the nosy neighbors businesses we have some amazing local businesses and man they do such a great job head back over see some of the old videos there's some really great stuff going on oh let me see if i can get this and i'm solo so i'm working this out today you guys also if you love real estate we're a real estate team what an amazing time in real estate. It is the craziest thing. So we recorded our stats that'll come out in this next week on the Murdoch Manoring Company page. There's some astounding stuff in there. So if you guys are interested in market stats and finding out what's going on locally in the real estate market, make sure you're liking following the Murdoch Manoring Company page because uh, there's some crazy things that have happened in, in real estate and the stats are crazy. That comes out next week. All right, today you may recognize, well, you can't see as much, this big long building we are down here on third street and if you have ever wondered what this big long building is we're going to find out a little bit more about that today but we are on the south side of the building so i'm looking right over at the post office so we're looking at the back of the post office we're on the south side of this big long cement building on the other side is one of our favorite nosy neighbors the jazzer sides which is so fun but come around to the south side of the building and you're going to find can you see it the bookshelf we are at a, the last or the only used bookstore in Idaho Falls. And we want to come in and talk to them about what's going on. Okay, so used books, books at all, aren't, isn't that a thing of the past? Let's go in and take a look at it. I'm going to switch over this way. And here we go. Like I said, we're right here. You can see right behind there's the post office. And when you come to the south side, you'll usually see this little stamp. They call that the sandwich sign. And come in let's take a look mm -hmm. make sure you don't slip let's go right on in oh i think someone's opened the door Hi. well hello can we come in and ask some questions about the bookshelf yeah welcome to the bookshelf fantastic get us get me out of the cold yeah absolutely come on in awesome well tell us who you guys are so i'm amanda poitavin and hi tony chavis <laughs> tony yeah. chavis Tell, tell me how to say your name again, Amanda. Okay. Amanda, I practiced. Yes, Amanda Poitavin. Poitavin. Um, yep, it's like the park, if you were aware of the park on 13th and oh, 14th Street. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Are you yeah. famous? Is that why you went? I'm... <laughs> no, it, uh, my great grandpa donated the land to the city. Wow. In maybe 100 years ago or so. So they named the park after him. Very cool. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever said the park's name right. Yeah. So I know, thank you for I know. that. A lot of people know how to spell it, but they don't know how to say it. <laughs> They've seen it before. Whenever I see it, I think of Sydney Poitier. Yes. And so I try to say it anyway. Yeah. Absolutely. We're off topic <laughs> on my issues. So tell yeah. us, what is the bookshelf? So the bookshelf is, uh, is Idaho Falls' only used bookstore. We buy, sell, and trade um, all sorts of used books, nonfiction, fiction, you name it. Wow. So... Um, what do, tell us if they want to come in and see this, how, where do your hours, what are the locations, how do they find out more? Yes, yeah, so we're open Monday through Friday, um, 10 to 5, and on Saturday, 10 to 3. And we're at 575 3rd Street, so behind the 4th Street Post Office, um, kind of also behind IF High School. Perfect. Come around to the south side of the building. You're yes. going to see it. Come to the south side. Yeah, exactly. You guys need to have a gang sign. South side. Okay, no. <laughs> Again, off topic. So tell us, what, tell, so what kind of things do you guys have? And how, and number one, wait, I got to go. How did this start? Sure. How long have you guys been doing this? So we've been open to the public for two years now. And before that, we sold books on Amazon for about 10 years. Ah, so used transitioned. books or just books books? Um, used books. Mm -hmm. um, so we transitioned away from that and are just, uh, just in person now. So that is kind of almost backwards of what we're seeing everything. Yes. People are moving from, I used to sell in the bookstore and now I'm on Amazon. How did you guys decide to switch from away from online to local? Yeah, well, so we really, we found that there was a, a desire and a need for a used bookstore. There's not one in Idaho Falls. And people would come in and ask us, hey, are you, you know, selling used books? And we, you really use this space as kind of a storeroom for mm. all of our books. 
Um, and we really just wanted to make a space for people who love books. And so we opened to the public and haven't looked back. That is awesome. Well, there is something about the feel, mm -hmm. the smell the, of a book. Yeah. If you are a book lover, I mean, the Kindle is great, but man, it is not the same. Right. People comment on that when they come in. It smells like coffee. It smells <sighs> like old books. They just like the experience of browsing yes. that you don't get on the internet. It's so uh, true. You come in and you find, you might be looking for one book and hopefully we have it, but yeah. you often find other books that you also love. Well, and I loved as a kid sitting down in a corner, get my mm -hmm. book out. I see the pictures. I feel the page turning. Yeah. There is an experience and a, an emotional connection to yeah. that. It's like seeing old friends yes. like surrounding you. Old yes. characters that you love, stories that you know that you can come back to. Yes. The only drawback is when you have to move and you've acquired <laughs> a bunch of books and that is the nightmare of your life. Yes. Yeah. Uh, in, in that vein, we do um, offer trade credit and cash oh. if you bring books in. So we, we, you know, sell books, but we also take books in. So if you have a bunch of books and you've read them all a couple times, you can come in and get in another set of books. Yes, absolutely. And it works out. You trade them in, get the credit and get something else, or you can just sell them. Yep, yep. Um, we offer more for trade credit um, mm -hmm. than cash, but uh, you know, bring in a couple books and you can walk out with a couple books. So let's discuss this. As I see my favorite author mm -hmm. over here on the bookshelf right here, John Grisham. I'm a giant John Grisham fan. Yep. Gotta put him right up front. Oh my word, he's fantastic. So I'll tell you a little story. Again, no one cares about this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. <laughs> so I went to my first time, I was in New York City and I went to the Strand. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. And that was my first experience. If you've never been to New York City, the Strand is an iconic used bookstore, right? It's downtown. It's, oh, it's, it's amazing. And the stacks and the stacks. And I'd never been in a used bookstore. And I was, it, I, I fell in love. And I bought all the first edition John Grisham books from oh, the Strand. Wow. Hardback, cover, beautiful. Mm -hmm. I've since ruined them. So this was a terrible story in the end <laughs> because I had to store them as I was a young person mm -hmm. and they had to be in a storage box and anyway, whatever. But I, all of a sudden, became addicted to the touch of books and the feel and the smell. Right. Anyway, so if you haven't been to The Strand, yeah. I don't even know if it still exists. I think it does. It is. Yeah. I saw a postcard in a book lately that we <laughs> took in that had, uh, had like the postcard for The Strand. And oh my word. That's... That's how I figured out, oh, this place exists, and now yes. I have a new vacation day. Oh, my word. And it's, it's amazing. It really, it really feels like you're, you're entering history in there. So anyway, off traffic again. All right, so let's talk about how much do you get for bringing in a book? Let's say, so I see my John Grisham. If I've got my first edition hardback books, mm -hmm. or my, my, how much are you going to get for those? You want to explain, Tony? Sure. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, anything that we can take in. Uh, as long as we're not overstocked on it, as long as it's in decent shape. Uh, we offer 50 cents for paperbacks and dollar for hardcovers, regardless of genre. That would be for store credit towards anything in the shop. Uh, otherwise, also half as much in cash, so 25 cents, 50 cents, respectively. Gotcha. Uh, I think so that's that that would work with kids' books? Yes, kids' books are the same. Ah. So, yeah. And we love kids' books, so bring in your kids' books and, uh, so and YA. Too. Can we take a look around? So let's talk Absolutely. about that. So we've got things like... All different strands. So what do we got here? You want to give us a little yeah, tour? Yeah, so you walk in. Um, I'm going to give you a little more a little rope bit funky. here. It, um, yeah, sure. It nope, there we go. Be, so it was the um, Department of Energy building a long time ago. Oh, um, now you're answering the next question. Yeah. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the Atomic Energy Commission, the DOA. It used to be the in-town site buildings ah. um, until the 80s or so. Um, Mystery but then solved. this space was a clogging dance studio. So that's why you come in and there's this window here. So parents could see their kids clogging. Um, Look at that. And so the dancing was back there. So it's, it, that's why we're set up like this. <laughs> um, you walk in. One thing we're really excited about is we've had the mayor, Rebecca Casper, oh. um, come in. She curated a, a bunch of books for us, came in and selected some things. And we have a selection on the back wall from Jim Francis as well, um, who's on the city council. Oh, how um, cool. Yeah, so we were doing that, having, we love having local people in to show us what their, you know, their top picks are. Um, we have John Grisham up front. We have Stephen King typically up front. Um, over here, 
we have our Western Americana section. Oh. So we have everything, all of our books about Idaho, our books about Wyoming, Utah. We've got some really cool things on uh, Jackson Hole area, um, Montana, the Western states, basically. Um, so if you're a Western history buff or you know someone who is, this is your section for sure. Um, as we go this direction, this is where we put all of our new arrivals. So when we get new books in which is every day pretty much um we put them here just while we're processing them so some people like to see what's new and you know what yeah. just came in before it sure. gets lost into the stacks yes exactly yes. before we shuffle it back there um we have a giant stack of westerns mm -hmm. uh, we have certain customers who love our westerns mm -hmm. um as we come in fiction is around the whole exterior um so wow. we can we can walk this direction as you can see it's a mix of um hard covers and soft covers um you know uh, but alphabetically arranged so alphabetically so it's yes. not genre it's alphabetic by, by author or title by last name of the author um with the exception we have a sci-fi and fantasy room and we have um romances pulled out and westerns pulled out um gotcha. and lds fiction we have a separate section for Very too cool. um so uh fiction continues and then over here kind of in the middle of the store we have nonfiction. Um, so art uh, begins here. Um, we've got crafts, we've got education, um, business. And then as we go towards down towards this um, other corner, uh, we have all of our classics. So I think we have a we always have a need for classics, people always coming in. So it's a really kind of high velocity section. We've got this little, nice little seating area that people Fun. love to come and sit in. We've had people take um, engagement photos here, which is fun. Very um, cool. We had someone get engaged here. They had their first date here, and then they, they came back, and the man proposed, and they got engaged. Awesome. So, yeah, so people love this little area. It's kind of cozy yeah, and private. Yeah, with a great window. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, we've got all of our... Um, our literature and then kids are back here and as i said before we're looking to expand kids um and so we've got them separated by early readers for kindergarten preschool that sort of thing to more mature readers and then ya as well so gotcha yeah. so where does harry potter fit in that role <laughs> Harry Potter currently is in the sci-fi fantasy. Oh, section. it is. Yep. Look at that. Um, that's, a, that's a great question. Sometimes people are like, oh, I'm looking for Harry Potter and I don't find it. And, you know, if we have it, um, which we frequently have a couple copies of, um, it's in sci-fi fantasy. So yeah. there's definitely overlap. Um, and you know so if you don't find something let us know which is why there's somebody here to help you probably yes. to give you an idea right yes. that's generally tony you're gonna walk into tony's smiling mm -hmm. face behind his mask yeah. Yeah, it, that's it, trust right. me, it's smiling. It, it's almost always smiling, yeah. unless I'm deep in thought, that's which, you know, that, that's when you find me with, buried with uh, my face in a book. That's so, right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. in this, this is a great idea if parents have, if there's a point where now you've got kids' books, move them out of the early age mm -hmm. into their teenager books and it's come and trade them in and trade yes. It's awesome. Yeah. How much are they expected to pay when they want to come by? Yeah. So... Our kids' books start at one ninety nine, um, so really affordable. Um, probably four ninety nine would be the max price um, on kids' books, and then same approximately for adult books between two ninety nine and seven ninety nine, depending That's on the awesome. condition and depending on whether it's hardcover or soft cover. So affordable, and yeah. so wonderful. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Love so it. So we've got um, just a smattering of things. We've got law over here. Let's go this way, Tony. Um, we've got music. Um, we've had a lot of music teachers come and find us because we've got ah. piano books, we've got string books, we've got I would have never thought. choral books, all sorts of um, interesting uh, music back here. Um, we Here's our little sci-fi fantasy room. Uh -huh. It's kind of, I don't know, it's it's very appropriate for sci-fi <laughs> fantasy, I, was like, I guess. It feels very, I like how you transition to the black 
yeah shelves exactly. and it's very it's a little cool. bit like a dungeon but people very like to kind of cool. sit in here and, I, and bury I themselves i believe that we hide these back here so that i don't end up walking off ah them. there you go yeah it's to keep it as far away from tony as possible yeah, yeah. that's right i'll, I'll yeah. understand somebody who's looking for some sci-fi fantasy uh -huh. and uh, we'll get lost in conversation so right. speaking of that do you guys have social media that they follow that if you guys have make suggestions or anything online sure. Yes, we um, so you can find us on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, our website is thebookshelfif.com. Um, Link and, below. Yes, and we absolutely we make suggestions. Uh, you know, sometimes I make jokes. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're not. Um, <laughs> and um, we make you know we we like to say you know this is I really like this book because and and give suggestions. Love so, that idea. Yeah. So will they know if a um, new book's coming in by following your social media? Yep. You guys talk about. Oh, yep. Excellent. We try to post new arrivals. Um, you know, not not every day, just so you don't constantly see the new arrivals. Yeah. but when we when we have a nice full shelf we will typically post it sometimes people will ask us can you hold that book and we're happy to hold it for our they can own. contact you through facebook if they see a book they yes. like yeah excellent facebook yeah facebook messenger or the website right for yeah uh, the, there's a contact page on the website but facebook messenger is really fast if you're on facebook so let, as we walk through what about if they're looking for a certain book can you find it or does it just show up if it shows up yeah, we um, we do get um, requests mm -hmm. frequently, and so we'll write it down on a little index card and take down your number. So if it's a book that like, oh, I know we just we had one last week, and you know we can call you if we get another one in, um, we're happy to do that. Excellent. Um, yeah. So just let us know if there's something uh, that you're looking for, and we can direct you to it. We also are set up on Bookshop.com, mm. which is a um, a page where you can buy new books and 30% of the profit goes to us. Wow. Yeah, it's it's really great. So if you're, um, you know, if you want to buy new books or you want to buy gifts for people um, and still support the bookshelf, um, an independent local bookstore, um, you can buy through bookshop.com and then and that supports us. Very cool. Yeah, there's and then when you're done with, you're done with it, bring it in yeah. and trade out for a new one. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Smart. Same thing for audiobooks. Um, there's Libro FM, and for ebooks, um, there's ah. a there's a link through the website and on Facebook. Ah, I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't think about that because that is I'm a big audiobook when mm -hmm. I drive. See, I just learned something. So yeah, oh look at that. I didn't even know anything. Same. Yeah, yeah, no, neighbors new. is all about learning new stuff. Yeah, it's pretty new for us in yeah. the last couple weeks. It's very cool. So yeah. if they have questions about all of this, can they call in? And, and, talk, and ask questions? We don't have a phone right now. Oh, um, there we go. Facebook, so Facebook Messenger, Messenger is really the easiest. Tony okay. checks it very frequently. So Perfect. that's the easiest way. Yeah, most people do. I feel like I get almost as many messengers now as I do emails or anything else. So, yeah. so convenient. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. All right, let's keep walking around yeah, this Yeah, sure. So let's go down history. Um, we have uh, this whole row here is history. And it's separated by general categories. Um, so history buffs love us, mm. um, you know, which is, which is awesome. So uh, they are, t again, typically arranged by um, alphabetical by last name. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case... Uh, you know, medieval history separated from Renaissance, oh. from general history. So, oh, it's um, my autobiography, the history of stupidity, <laughs> right there. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then down here on this other side, we've got biography. People. Oh, I love um, biographies. Yeah, political, current events, and this section here is really popular. Our New Age section. Um, we get a lot of turnover. A lot of people looking at the the books. So, what um, defines New Age? You know. Um, it's typically books on witchcraft, books on oh. um, he, like crystals, healing, uh, maybe meditation, mm -hmm. um, affirmations, metaphysics. spirituality. It's a Got it. combines a whole lot of things. Makes sense. Um, but uh, it has a a lot of people are very interested in it. So, yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if we go down here, you'll notice. Um, here we can come. 
this whole section here oh is empty not you're because ready for new books i know not because we're you know going out of business or something but because we're expanding fiction ah. so we um, most of our requests we get are for fiction so we said you know what let's let's rearrange some things let's shuffle some things around and we are just about to expand all of our fiction awesome. so um we're really excited about that to have the extra space better space for displaying things that sort of thing um we have books that are large print here um if you uh, you know difficulty seeing the smaller print mm -hmm. i know a lot of people um and right here actually this is interesting we have books that are by local authors <gasps> oh, and I love that. local publishers yep so um books written by people from idaho falls there's actually quite a few um published in idaho falls pocatello published in idaho wow. um so in addition to the western americana um there's some overlap but uh it's kind of a unique thing where you know you're not going to go to probably not going to go to barnes and noble and find these um these books written by local authors that's awesome yeah that's phenomenal oh you guys this is amazing this really is a really fun and if people haven't explored and been in to, to experience a used bookstore if you love books and you love reading if your kids haven't ever experienced that before mm -hmm. yeah. getting them you know getting them to use books and trading out books and doing a lot yeah. more amazing yeah. i found kids who just don't they've never heard of a used bookstore mm -hmm. in their lifetime and yeah they're just their mind is blown the yeah. ones that find their way here but i've actually been very impressed with just how many children are showing up yeah. and going through and being like mom please buy me this new look they got the one in the series the next oh. one that i'm looking for mm -hmm. Uh, kids absolutely love the used bookstore. They love the selection. And yeah. It's just been phenomenal. Well, I love the idea of the owning, starting to understand this is my yeah. book. Mm -hmm. And if they want to trade in, come in and get a different one, that's great. But it's my, this is my book. Yeah. And that is something really neat. Yeah. I mean, I love the library. Don't get me wrong. But mm -hmm. I loved, I've loved owning books. Yeah. Yeah, this well, is something amazing. Kids can be hard on books, you know. Yeah, so yeah. It, having it be your own book and yeah. being able to pass it down to other yeah. kids is a good thing. And get it for cool. a more affordable price yes. and brand new. And then hey, if it does get beat up, well, okay, that's it's right. a bit more acceptable. Yeah. That's really <laughs> awesome. You guys, this is phenomenal. Cool. Tell us your hours again. Yes. And location. Um, Monday through Friday, we're open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 10 to 3 then closed on Sunday. And location is 575 Third Street um, behind the 4th Street Post Office in Idaho Falls. Yeah, south side of the big mm -hmm. building. Yep. That's phenomenal. All right, I'm gonna okay. flip, flip this around. Okay, you guys, this has been so fun. Again, we're here at the bookshelf. Come down and check it out. It is so cool. Come experience the used bookstores. It's amazing, phenomenal. These guys are awesome. And support your local bookstore, the only used bookstore in Idaho Falls. Come and check it out. All right, this has been Jessica Carden. Your nosy neighbor, keeping you in the know.